Substack and Review are two up and coming online platforms which allow you to create premium email newsletters which your subscribers pay to receive. Now, on the surface, these two platforms would look to be very similar. However, upon closer inspection, I have found that one does the job far better than the other. In this video, I'm going to review the key differences between Substack and Review and conclude on which platform is going to be a better option for you to create your premium newsletter. If you appreciate this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends and consider subscribing to our channel. Substack launched in 2017, but it has really blown up in 2020 and beyond. In recent times, a number of high profile journalists have decided to go freelance and build money um, through Substack by trying to get subscribers to their premium email newsletters. Substack can be completely free. It's only when you decide to create a premium newsletter and charge your subscribers to receive your emails. In that case, Substack is gonna take uh, a 10% cut of all of your profits, okay? So if you've got 1,000 subscribers, you're charging them each $1 a month, Substack is going to take $100 per month. Substack is also going to charge you a one-off fee if you want to add a custom domain to your landing page blog that it provides you. You see here, um, this publication here has got the Substack URL. You're going to be stuck with that Substack URL unless you pay that one-off $50 fee, which is, pr is pretty expensive as far as, as URL and domain names go. Also, if you want to be sending emails from your own domain, custom domain name, then Substack isn't going to be from you. Your only option here is to send from a Substack email address. The design of Substack blogs, landing pages, emails, they're very basic, they're very simple. And all of them, here are some other publications which use Substack. Here you can see that they're all very similar, okay? It's gonna be easy to spot a, a Substack design, you know? With that said, it's a very clean, simplistic design. Um, and there is the opportunity to add pictures. You can add opt-in forms. You see here, share buttons. So there is a bit to play with. You can also play around with the fonts and the, the background colors of your publication. So there is a bit to play with. You'll see here some of the opt-ins for the homepage of a Substack blog where you would subscribe your email address Again, they all look very uh, similar, like this. Okay, now let's review. Review. Review has been around a bit longer than Substack, but it's in 2021 when it was acquired by Twitter that it really joined the conversation as far as the best email marketing, e premium email platform out there on the internet. Okay, Twitter already in this first few months of owning review has um, made a lot of changes that has put it in the conversation for as far as the best email platform that you can use. Um, now, one of the changes that Twitter made is that it made just like Substack, review can be completely free to use. If you decide to start charging your subscribers, then it's going to take a cut, but only of 5% of your profits. Okay. So now let's say, again, you have 1,000 subscribers paying a dollar per month to receive your emails. Review is only going to take $50 a month compared to Substack taking $100 a month. Right. Let's say you have 10,000 subscribers paying a dollar per month. Review is only going to take $500 per month, whereas Substack takes $1,000 per month. Okay. So the more subscribers you have, the more significant that difference becomes. And review also provides a lot more as far as customization. We've got some examples of, of 
review based uh, blogs, which are also emails that get sent out. You'll see here this one um, with the custom URL review offers you the chance to upload your landing page to your custom URL for no extra fee. Okay. You can also send emails with, um, from an address with your custom domain again for no extra fee. On top of that, there's a lot more options for customization of, of what your landing page or what your emails look like. So we'll just have a quick scroll through three examples here. This one's called Invisible Women. Take a look at the opt-in page here. You have the option for custom HTML opt-in boxes, which means they're not all going to look the same like they do on Substack. See? And then here's another example here. So the main differences between the two, review taking only a 5% cut of your profits uh, versus Substack taking a 10%. Also review offering far greater levels of customization as far as adding your brand to the URL and to your email address. Also the customization of the design of your emails and your landing pages. For me, that are two very clear uh, advantages of review that makes it a far better option for you and more affordable. So that's my verdict. Both very, very good up and coming email uh, distribution platforms. Review offering a lot more Twitter has only just taken charge of review in the last few months. So you can expect it to add uh, a few more features as time goes on. Anyway, that's the end of the video. If you appreciated it, please make sure to click the like button, share it with your friends and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs>